Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill with this WBZ News Update. Our top stories, a Boston commission has voted to rename Yawkey Way. The street home to Fenway Park will now go back to its original name, Jersey Street. Earlier this month, the Red Sox asked the commission to postpone the vote to consider input from the community. Yawkey Way was named for former Sox owner Tom Yawkey. Under his leadership, the Sox were the last team to integrate. A massive manhunt continues for a man accused of killing a Maine sheriff's deputy. Police have issued a nationwide alert for 29-year-old John Williams. Authorities say he killed Corporal Eugene Cole early Wednesday morning, then stole a cruiser and robbed a convenience store. Williams was arrested in Haverhill last month for an unlicensed gun. Police are asking anyone who's had contact with him in the last 24 hours to come forward. MGM Springfield just announced its official opening date. The casino will open to the public Friday, August 24th. The $950 million casino will have more than 2,500 slot machines and 120 gaming tables. It will also feature a hotel, several restaurants, and an 8,000-seat entertainment center. 2,200 workers are being hired to staff the casino. Let's get a check of the forecast now with Barry Burbank. Pretty nice, Barry. Yeah, it's getting better, Kate, out there. We've had the rain this morning, and everything's getting brighter, but it's not going to be completely clear this afternoon. The sky will be sort of changing with passing clouds and periods of bright sunshine in between those passing clouds. And the temperature will be going up to the upper 60s in many spots this afternoon. Very pleasant indeed as the air dries out. Much of the nation this afternoon in the 60s and 70s, so that's unusual to have it so uniform. We have one low going by. The next one's on its way. That'll give us the rain coming up for tomorrow afternoon. So, again, we got the clouds tending to decrease more and more, especially the second half of the afternoon, early this evening. They'll just about all disappear and become nice and sunny. Then overnight, it falls down into the 40s. And then we have some clouds here by tomorrow morning. Shouldn't interfere with the morning commute. It should be dry, but the afternoon commute may be different. There could be a few scattered showers around light things here by midday. And then during the afternoon, the heavier showers and a few local downpours come on through during the afternoon commute and into tomorrow evening. Then after that, it looks like the weekend will be sort of changeable. Looks like we're in for times of clouds and sun on Saturday, and it looks like maybe a few scattered showers on Sunday. So the rainfall out of this system, about a half inch or so, give or take a little bit, certainly not measuring up to the magnitude of the one we just had. Here's the weekend forecast for you. We got some seven degrees near 70 on Saturday with a couple of showers in western New England, nothing close to Boston. A scattered shower, a thunderstorm on Monday's, uh, Sunday's possible, and it will be cooler, barely getting to 60. So that's the cool day. It's chilly on Monday morning, but Kate after that it starts warming up. And Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week looks to be well into the 80s, except on the south coast in the Cape. All right, Barry, looks good. Thanks. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Kate Merrill. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.